Hi, in this video I will introduce the concept of force fields and compare gravitational and electric fields. A field is a region in which a body can experience a non-contact force. In a gravitational field, a mass receives a gravitational force. And in an electric field, charges receive an electrostatic force. Fields can form different patterns. Let's consider two, radial and uniform fields. Around a point mass or a point charge, a radial field will be established. The direction of the arrows on the field lines correspond to the direction of the force that a point mass or a positive charge will experience respectively if they're placed in the field. The density of the field lines represents the strength of the field. The gravitational field around the Earth is a radial field. But if we zoom in close enough, the Earth's surface appears flat and those radial lines effectively become parallel. We call this a uniform field. In a uniform field, the field lines point vertically downwards and their density is uniform. In most mechanics problems, we assume a uniform field, as it means the gravitational field strength is constant and all weights act downwards. To our field diagrams we can add a second type of line to show equipotential surfaces. These surfaces represent positions in space where the gravitational or electrical potential is constant and they are always perpendicular to the field lines. We'll learn more about potential in a later video, but for now just think of these as surfaces along which movement does not require a change in potential energy. Let's end with a quick comparison of gravitational and electric fields. So gravitational fields affect all particles with mass, whereas electric fields affect all particles with charge. Gravitational fields are always attractive gravitational repulsion is not possible. But electric fields can be both attractive and repulsive. In both cases the range is infinite but it diminishes according to the inverse square law.